What's happening guys? Chris VA Travels and today's adventure I'm visiting the Old Salem Church. Historic church here in Spotsylvania County uh, that was part of the Battle of Chancellorsville. Uh, to let you know I'm about six miles outside of Fredericksburg which is to the east uh, east there uh, just off of the old Plank Road, Orange Plank Road which now is Route 3 and yeah Old Baptist Church built back in 1844 so it's gonna do a walk around, give you some history. And here's an old photo right here, the horse and buggy. And uh, yeah, this crack right here is actually from a lightning bolt. And really small church, originally just had 29 members, but by 1859, 77 men members, 20 of whom were black. And yeah, it served as a kind of a refugee camp during the first Battle of Fredericksburg and then a hospital after the Battle of Chancellorsville. So, and there's still a bunch of uh, bullet holes on, on the east side over here. Yeah, bunch right there. And the new Salem Church built 1958 next door there. Yeah, just a simple three bay building. And that was the black entrance right there. The black gallery was up top. We got lights on this thing, okay. <laughs> and the white entrance, the men and female, they had separate doors on the side here. And you don't really see too many uh, bullet marks, but this was the Confederate side, so I see a couple, but. And yeah, at first, uh, December, well actually the summer of 1862, uh, when Fredericksburg was occupied by Union troops, citizens fled, set up shelter. There were tents uh, made of blankets here. Uh, they went back into town, but then uh, December 1862, came back out here during, of course, the Battle of Fredericksburg. Set up another shelter. Yeah, a lot of bullet holes on this side. And yes, yeah, so you can picture this, uh, December 1862, you could hear cannons going off out in Fredericksburg, plumes of black smoke going up in the air. And after the battle, a lot of citizens went back into town to find that their houses were burned down, looted, and they had to end up coming back out here while uh, their homes were being rebuilt. Take a walk over here, take a look at these plaques. And a little bit of traffic noise over here, so I'll try to, uh, I'll try to speak up, but I could be crazy, but this big monument, I've been out here several times. I don't live that far away. Uh, I thought it was further back, but I could be wrong. Yeah, so this uh, big one over here was uh, dedicated in 1927 by the Daughters of the Confederacy, and it honors both Union and Confederate troops. Kind of a good shot right there. Yeah, plaque over here. Like I said, yeah, hospital after the battle. And an interesting fact, this <clears throat> George R.C. Todd, uh, a Confederate surgeon, was the brother of Mary Todd Lincoln, of course, was married to President Abraham Lincoln. And yeah, inside there were stacks of limbs in all corners of the building. Uh, 92 Union soldiers died here, an unknown number of Confederate soldiers. Uh, 1865, as William Tecumseh's sermon, uh, was uh, marching north to Washington, D.C. He stopped by Salem Church, I saw bodies littered everywhere. He included this in his report, and it, it's what helped commission the big national cemetery in Fredericksburg on Marie's Heights. So now I can tell you during the little battle of Salem Church, which was at the tail end, which was part of the Battle of Chancellorsville, there were 4,900 Confederate casualties, uh, 4,500 Union casualties, even though the Confederacy uh, won. So yeah, here we go, Battle of Salem Church. And here it is, Plank Road. And you can see this monument was still here, it was dedicated in 1906, and it's to a 23rd New Jersey Regiment. Walk over there later. And then there's a second monument on the north side of Route 3, a little further down, and that's the 15th New Jersey Res Re Regiment. And that one was dedicated in 1908, and they were paid for by the state of New Jersey. So kind of an areola of the battle here. And again, Plank Road, uh, Salem Church Road, back over there. And this was General Sedgwick's line. To give you a quick uh, kind of overview of the Battle of Salem Church, 
which I can say it was the very tail end of the Battle of Chancellorsville, so May 3rd, 1863. And by about 10 a.m., the Confederacy had basically won. They had taken over the Chancellor House. They were basically celebrating. And General Sedgwick, he was behind at Fredericksburg during the Second Battle of Fredericksburg, had taken Marie's Heights, had started marching his 23,000 troops up the Plank Road. They were moving slowly. They were trying to get the fresh regiments up front. And then for the Confederacy, uh, over by Banks Ford, uh, over the Rappahannock, uh, kind of the star of the show for the Confederacy, a guy named Cadmus Wilcox, who led an Alabama brigade, moved his troops over here to, this was known as the Salem Ridge. We're kind of on a little bit of a heights right here. Uh, set up his troops uh, on both sides of the road and basically thwarted the uh, Union advance. Uh, I can tell you at one point, there's a New York, I believe it was the 120th Regiment, uh, led a charge. They actually broke the Confederate line, but they were quickly repulsed by Confederate reinforcements. And this was toward the end, end of the day. Sedgwick kind of retreated back there toward Banks Ford. He kind of set up a, a perimeter all around it. Both sides kind of camped out for the night. And he got a loose word from Joseph Hooker down at Chancellorsville that, hey, if tomorrow, if anything goes wrong, just pack it up and just retreat and cross the Rappahannock. So the next day, uh, Robert Lee had sent a couple divisions up here. Uh, Jubal Early, who had lost the Battle of Fredericksburg, he advanced. Uh, Anderson, he was pretty much, Ced Cedric was surrounded. And he did repulse many Confederate advancements. But as the day wore on, he, uh, he feared more and more uh, Confederate uh, reinforcements were going to arrive. So he just, he threw in the towel and went ahead. And uh, that evening, he crossed the Rappahannock, retreated. And then the next day, the 5th and into the 6th, Joseph Hooker retreated, uh, officially ending the Battle of Chancellorsville. So, and over here, I'll take a quick look at this marker. And this is another one of these markers that was placed here back in 1903 by a, game, a guy named James Power Smith. He was Stonewall Jackson's right-hand man. And yeah, there are plenty, there are about 10, 13, I don't know, around a dozen of these uh, all around the area, M many over the Battle of uh, Fredericksburg. And there he is, Wilcox, this uh, Alabama brigade down there. So, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of, kind of it. And it's about three acres that were preserved here by the Park Service uh, purchased back in the uh, 60s. And uh, unfortunately, they couldn't preserve it any more of the land because Interstate 95 was put in during the 60s and this whole area just blew up. So yeah, that's where all this commercial development came in. And uh, yeah, the land was just too expensive. So anyway, yeah, shot at the front here. I'm gonna fly my drone. Um, yeah, I'll probably just uh, walk over, take a look at that statue, and I might drive over and take a look at the other Union uh, statue and, yeah, cemetery over here. I don't believe any Civil War soldiers are, are buried in here, but, yeah, it's just the Salem Church Cemetery, so... So take a quick look at this statue over here. You can say this is the 23rd New Jersey Volunteer Regiment. They were only in, in existence for about nine months. You hear a little marker over here. Sun's hitting it pretty good. And it was led by a guy named uh, Colonel Bird Grub. That's B-U-R-D. Dedicated 1964. There he is, Bird Grub. Infantry man up there, ready to go. Oh, okay, this is dedicated to the brave Alabamians. That'd be Wilcox Brigade, like I say, that kind of pushed them back. Pretty neat. 23rd Regiment, New Jersey Volunteers. And guys looking over the battlefield. A couple rifles there, a little ammunition bag. Um, can't really read that too good. Yeah, pretty neat. And it looks like four of these little stone markers surrounding it, so.
All right, I'm gonna drive down and try to take a look at the second one. Uh, walking back to my car, there's one last plaque to look at. There's the uh, Chancellor House after it burned down. And just talking about Spotsylvania being pretty much the heart of the Civil War, just four major battles in the area. It saw more action than anywhere else in the country. Okay, and another map of the, uh, here we are, as I had said, Sedgwick's advancement. There's the Banks Ford, Fredericksburg right there, about six miles, about eight miles. Chancellor House. So, and all, all the churches kind of in the area. Here we are, of course, in Massaponics Church. The first preacher uh, in Salem came from Massaponics Baptist Church. So. Okay, made it over here. I'm just about a quarter mile east of the Salem Church. You can see on the north side of Route 3 or the Plank Road. And this is the 15th New Jersey Regiment Monument. These guys suffered 154 casualties, 41 of whom were killed. Historic Salem Church up here. A couple rifles, cartridge bag, uh, May 3rd, 1863. Yeah, there it is, 41 killed, 109 wounded, four missing. So, pretty nice statue. Six core under Sedgwick, and this guy's uh, saluting the field, I guess. All right, that's gonna be it for my little tour of Salem Church. As always, like and subscribe. See ya.